right here. Well, good morning to you too, detective. As you can see, we have another murder on our hands. Think it's related? Mm, might be. The two other guys got killed by the same one, but I'm not sure about this one. You mind if I take a look? You might guess. Judging by the wounds, I say we have the same killer, but you should take it to the autopsy to make sure. I'll get some people on it. to the detective's office and collect a certain document. If this is not in the red mailbox on 52nd Street by tomorrow, you're next. Don't contact the police. This was uh, in my first same afternoon. <laughs> it's weird because I have no file 34. A random guy closed it in my hand and left Space. Whatever is going on here, the man is clearly disturbed. You gotta help me! Of course I will. You should have come to me first, though. It's risky business sneaking around like that, you know? I'm sorry, but I was afraid. Ever since my brother died, I lost faith in the police. Look at what the note said. <sighs> well, I guess I can't blame you for that. Where are my manners? I don't believe you have been properly introduced. Mrs. Adams. Sarah Adams. I have a detective Thomas Walker here. You can call me Tom if you'd like. It's a pleasure, Mr. Walker. I'll go light the fireplace then. Rough night, eh? Yeah, I got some company last night. Okay, look, uh, we've got someone here you might be familiar with him. His name's Michael Peterson. The Michael Peterson? Yeah. We've been trying to get something on him for years, but... He just keeps slipping away. Mm, yeah, I dealt with those before. Look, he might be dangerous, so uh, be careful in there, okay? All right. And Walker, tuck your shirt. Famous Michael Peterson. We meet at last. If you wanted to see me so bad, you could have just called. Got lots of spare time for cross like you. Killed anyone recently? You tell me. All right, you gotta start being a little more cooperative. Where were you 10 p.m. on 21st of October? Ask your mum about that, Mike. But you're not a cop now, are you? You're that detective, Walker, Thomas Walker. Somebody's done their homework. I'm impressed. See so you showed up without a lawyer. Lawyers for blankets. You're gonna ask me some weird questions. Gotta get my groceries. The killer would have to have a steady hand to pull off a trick like that. Your nails are pretty dirty. I'll bet you deny that's blood. Can't a man do some gardening? Alright, we're done here. Let's pack it up. Hello, mate. Where is she? Well, that's not a way to start a conversation now, is it? Cut the bullshit! What do you want? How much? When you put it that way, I 
with love, some jelly I warn you, I'm independent, and I don't follow the same rules of police. Oh, someone's got a fussy feeling for the blonde girl. Fuck is she? Huh? What the Where's fuck she? is your problem, Walker? What am I supposed to think? I can explain, okay? That won't be necessary. This is more than enough of an explanation for me. I thought I could trust you. But you know you can. But this was... But you know the consequences of this. You can't mean that. I'm sorry, Walker. You can't keep going like this. It's not like that, okay? You can't get emotionally involved, which you clearly have. I... I... Just, just take a couple of days off, okay? Hey! Stop! Sarah? What the fuck is going on here? Are you the killer? I couldn't handle it anymore. What do you mean? When I was 12, my older brother was an up and coming young man. By the time I turned 18, he was accepted into high standard university. But something got in the way. The streets took him. The scum selling him the fatal drugs had to die. I'm sorry, but I'm. I'm feeling good.